Hello and welcome back to another episode of MTG Arena. So, as I mentioned previously, I wanted to play、um, with this card, Zerda, the Dawn Waker, because you know, I think he kind of looks epic, like this fox, you know. So, and he's sort of like a really underplayed creature. So, I'm trying to find a deck that I could actually put him in, but. You know, so far it's not really working that well. Yeah, I think he's not really for the standard format, or rather, he's for the, I think, historic, where he has this、uh, mono monolith combo that he could like generate infinite mana or something like that, and then maybe close the game with walking ballista or something like that. But anyway, because he has this、um, ability that could, you know, cut. Cut abilities that aren't mana abilities to less to activate, but sadly we can't reduce this mana to less than one. So minimum we still need to pay one. So sadly we couldn't cycle for free. If we could cycle for free, then this card might probably be pretty nice, <laughs> pretty OP, right? I think that's the downside. But you know, even with that ability, I think. He's still vulnerable to removal and stuff, so I think he should actually could reduce the mana to less than one, which is free cycling. But you need to play him out first, right? So, oh well. But anyway, this is like the cycling deck you see nowadays. The only cards you might need to gather is like maybe the Triumph, like, but I think you could just cut them down and put in basics, you know, if you want. So the land isn't really a priority. The priority will be like Zerda or you know Idaro. So these are only the rares.、So、he doesn't have any mythic. So you know, Flourishing Fox is like the Ajani primate of the for the Life Link deck. is a is a growing creature that could grow to really huge stats while we are cycling and cycling. And usually that he's a this creature is like a wind con. I don't know. It's a fox. You know, they are fox, <laughs> and Yidaro is like a beastly cycling creature that we could generate late game value when we cycle it four times. You know, we could straight up put Yidaro onto the battlefield and swing in tram with trample and haste for the win. And then of course, Zeni Flare is our cycling that win con as well. So yeah, that's about it. These are all like the cycling fodder. But you know, for Valiant, sometimes you might want to consider playing him out to generate more, generate a white board against certain matchup, and you know, drain his stinger to even burden more opponents to get them close to like the range for Zeni Flare. So you know, this kind of straightforward. And we have one more Zerda in the main board, you know, just for the flavor. So that's about it. So yeah. As you will see in the game later, it's either we win really quickly, or we just lose the game against like the controlly decks, especially the Yorion kind of decks. So yeah, all right, that's all for the deck introduction. Let us move in to the gameplay. Okay, let's see how well our deck could perform. Here we have a Yidaro. Sadly, it doesn't have a white, but it's okay. You could just cycle. You just cycle away. They'll go for blood, I guess. Because we our deck focuses on cycling, so we do not need a lot of land, I suppose. But you know, st I'm still play testing this deck, so it's not really at the optimal form. Well, okay, we have a temple. That's kind of see. We we I'll get the land. I will get the land. Okay, probably has a removal, right? Seeing how he plays, so we will play the fox. This fox, you no, know, don't underestimate it. It's like a be huge beater, very huge beater in our cycling deck. It's like sort of like the Ajani primate in the life gain deck. 
Okay, our opponent is playing Yorion, so he has a lot of answers, so we wanna end the game ASAP. So... Yeah, we are Psycho on his turn. It's not a problem. Early on, I have a really fun game. Where, you know, I got to... End the game, win the game in the ranked. And we are now, you know, our rank has just resetted, resetted by the way, so... Yeah, we kinda like... Could cycle for 2. Okay, I'll, I'll play the Dranif. Dranif is a very good damage dealer, in my opinion. Hopefully we could draw into a Zerda, so I do not need to... You know, but it's okay, Zerda... It's just like a one costing advantage anyway, so... Okay, forcing an extinction event board wipe on just using on the drain if it's actually okay. Yeah, that's okay. We'll play like the Valiant. And we'll cycle on his turn. Likely cycle away the Yedaro. Man, Yedaro is really powerful by the way. With the cycling and the and the ability, it's like, man, it's one of our, our win con. Yeah, we could take the cultivate. That's not a problem. Yeah, I think he's kind of hasty. Your opponent use like extinction event straight up. Maybe he has more than one. I'm not sure, but really sure like um, what is coming. The casualties of war will be coming. Oh, let's cycle our Yidaro. Okay. Yeah, like I said, we don't need that much land. So, you know, let's just swing in. We do not need the crater, I think. Cycle for one. We could play a land, right? Okay. So do we play this then? Or do we want to get... I mean, most likely you want to play the casualties of war, so... Let's play the Valiant. If he don't play... If he doesn't play the casual... If he plays a casualty, he doesn't really reap a lot of value, right? It's just one creature and a land. That's about it. Okay, let's see what our opponent have. Okay, so he gave up on that play, so we'll cycle. Oh, okay, a fox is... Hmm, we might want to put Zerda soon. Yeah, we might want to put in Zerda really quickly. Um, Trample and Haze. Mm-hmm. Well, his creature is much bigger, so... Oh, Zaniflare. Can we end the game with Zaniflare? Oh, we are short of just... Uh, just one damage off, right? So, I mean, shall we just do it? If he has like an extinction event, we'll be kind of in trouble. I hate that. So, okay, you know what? We'll cycle. Okay, we'll put down a fox and cycle. It's an odd creature, right? We'll cycle off our Triumph. So let's see what our opponent have. Hopefully it doesn't have any interaction with our hand. If not, I'll be really sad. Oh, maybe I should play the land untapped. Oh my goodness. Okay, live again. Sure. Does he have enough? Okay, doesn't it have enough to play out Uro?
I don't think crisis will come in. Hopefully it doesn't play removal. Please no board wipe. It's not be really sad. Point removal is okay. Yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I think we would have enough to close the game now. Kind of sure, right? Two mana. I don't think he could clear the board or anything. So I think we are in a pretty good shape. Let's draw. Oh my goodness. Double Zenifler. Yeah, I'm kind of worried he have like a negate or something. One, two, three. Hmm. Okay, I mean, let's just go for this. Okay, we got him. <laughs> nice. Okay, I think this is keepable. Man, I'm wondering about Zerda's ability. It's like, are we able to cut down the the ability to use the Planeswalker ultimate? Something like that. Is that how it works? A question in mind. Yeah. Anyway, I think we gotta play out the Fox, right? Play the fox and cycle of Draenif. Since we are not against aggro, we will just okay. South Tide Ram, classic. It's like standard. You see that a lot now. Like people are using it to climb. Okay, when we cycle, we get to. Mm hmm. I put out more thread first then. I mean I don't need the life like I said. So let's go a creature. Play the lamb. You could play out Zerda and cut the cost down to like just one. Kinda nice. So we're now going to be on like, oh my goodness, that's... Okay, so, since we are going, could go in for a lot of damage here, right? Okay, two foxes is more than enough. Okay, Valiant. Any cycle one, yep. Okay, we'll go for all the Psycho 1 ability. Hopefully we get a land. And one more land, please. Oh, perfect. Okay, in that case, we'll Psycho away Daro. Another land. Okay, so we'll probably need to have like what? Extinction event at hand, right? So, yeah. So, we have to rebuild here. And we gotta do it this way. I mean, let's play Zerda. Shall we play Zerda? It's really tempting to play Zerda, but I think we need to put the aggression with Valiant. There's an even and. Put down the land. Yeah, we'll cycle on his turn. Most likely, we'll cycle off the Splendor Mare. Another extinction event. Even, right? I mean. Sure. Using it on Valiant is. You know, we could. We could let you have that.
Dranif. Should we carry on Dranif? Cycle for one. No, let's carry on Dranif. Killer, I mean. Oh. Oh, can we get him here? I think we could get him here, man. Right? Six. Oh, we are short of one. Oh boy. That's a bummer. Let's do this. Hopefully he doesn't have any life gain, he'll try to destroy, you know, our Zerda. We want a bit of removal for Zerda, right? Okay. Okay, I think we got him here. With Zenith Flare. Unless he has something like a, what, a bond of flourishing. Ooh. Just kidding. Yeah, I mean... Oh, six. We are still at six. Wait a minute. Man, scares me for a moment. I thought I screwed up. Another Yidaro though. Oh well. GG, buddy. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. Zany Flare is kinda cancerous, but there's a win con for this kind of deck, so yeah. Okay, so here we'll try to grow the biggest flourishing fox ever. Actually, we want to go white as well, but... I mean, the fox could be able to hold them off pretty nicely. Another land. Let's go in for 4 damage, shall we? Hey, we might use the Zenny Flare early. <laughs> what is that? Okay, this deck isn't easy to pilot, I gotta say. Sometimes you need to know what decisions to make and it's not really that straightforward. Okay, this hand is keepable. We have like a raid centric thing, so I think we'll just cycle away the Ventasaur at the end step. Yeah, I might want to keep the go for blood, right? Um We are up against Mono Raid. Man, this kind of player never change, man. Never change. Okay. Two drop. No tap land. I mean, no untap land. Temple. Well, at least this cry us into something useful. Zany Flare. Well. Might be useful against. We need some life gain against this people that plays mono raid. So you can't play Zerda. I mean, Zerda will get actually three toughness is pretty good. You won't get shocked or something. Hey, I mean, Ventasaur gotta go. drop because 
psycho. I mean, we gotta play this, right? Or do we actually psycho up the Yidaro? Okay, I think life matters, so. <laughs> We could then flare an extern and heal up. We'll try to aim for like probably the Torbrun or something. You might think we have some kind of shock and stuff, right? So let's go to hold back Rick Annex. Okay. Yeah, Annex is something you want to snipe off. So sniping off Annex. Let's see what he plays. Yeah, we don't need him to equip the Amber Cleave. Most likely he have it. So we want to do it before he attack him. And gain the life. Awesome. Maybe we could play out Zerda and fight the Fervent. Yeah, I think that's nice. Oh, or we could fight that as well, but I mean we gotta take the damage and that's not good. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, let's play Zerda. Uh, we could go for Blood on. Oh, this is tough, man. I gotta say. Okay, let's eat Daru. Okay, sure. Um Oh we could cycle off the triumph for one now. That's one thing we, I need to take note of. I need to get Okay, most likely Amber Cleave is coming, right? So Definitely blocking the champion. We, we want him because Fervent already has first strike. So equipping, forcing the Amber Cleave on Fervent is like a waste, right? So most likely you want to put it on the Giant for that damage. So yeah, and he maybe have even have a shock on Zerda or something or a Bone Crusher, right? Yep. So. Any flare against them? I mean, there's a better option. We're gonna do it at the combat step, I think. So, two psycho and one. Just psycho this first, right? Okay. No need another land. So we will we will use the Zany Flare during the combat. Let's see what he does. Quip on the fervent. Hmm. Okay. So it's like 4 damage split up, right? Man, if only we have like a Storm Ruff in our board, but I don't think we have, so... And we need to 
put the body down begin the life and cycle sadly splendor mare life link hmm. I mean, we are dead here, so oh well. So from what I read, right, Zerida is actually more like um for the historic format play. It's like it combos for like generating um infinite mana with the mo monolith and something like that, right? So okay, this hand is I. I think it's okay. I think we need to have some turn one play. Yeah, we'll, we'll trick the opponent to think like we might have a shock or something. Lucky Clover. Sure. Psycho off. Okay, land. Perfect. Untap land. Perfect. Okay. I think we just want to cycle and cycle here. Two cycling effect here is really nice. We'll cycle off the Ventusaur, of course. Okay, we're up against like the adventure deck, which is pretty OP. It doesn't have any life gain, right? So our wind con hopefully but they have fail wishes to get rid of our stuff in hand which is kind of annoying and even getting their gate and stuff okay let's see here we have we could play out the valiant which most likely we want to play out the valiant because what else we want to play right and yeah we play out our land right or did I forget to put out a land? Oh man, I should have give him another target. What am I doing? Shit. Yep. Misplay again. I should have let the bone crusher go to the grave. My goodness. If they play fail wishes, I think it's, it's it'll be pretty annoying. I mean, Teamer Avent adventure is like typical stuff, so. Hmm, but we have a Yidaru as our wind corn as well. <laughs> oh, our opponent is like having the perfect hand answer to in adventure that you know. It's like what a best hand you could ever get man. What else do you want? Um, should we use this? Yeah, I think that's okay.
Oh, but he has the Tormod creep against our Zen Flare, so that's one thing that we need need to take note of. To any target, right? So, do we have a combat trick that we could use? No, we we'll just play the third out and. Oh, our well, cycling land will be like one. So we could do like two damage with Zany Flare. A nerfed Zany Flare, right? Oh no, we can't actually. Um, hmm. Oh well, let's, let's just forget about this game. <laughs> Teamer Adventure, come on. Alright, so, in conclusion, you know, Zerda isn't really working that well for the deck. Maybe he has a home somewhere, and other formats, sadly. Can't really, you know, use him to his utmost potential, but oh well. Um, so yeah, that's all for the video today. I'll paste the deck list in the description. You know, do try it out if you have some interest in Zerda. And yeah, hope you enjoy watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye. I am ancient and wise. Heed my advice.